Regarding the so-called luxury handbag scandal involving the first lady, KBS obtained text messages exchanged over 22 months between first lady Kim and pastor Choi Jae-yong, who gave her the bag. Now, these messages detail how Choi approached Kim and his requests. Previously, Choi did submit these logs to the prosecutors, who believe he intentionally left out parts of the conversation. It was January 28, 2022, about a month before the presidential election, when Korean-American pastor Choi Jae-young sent his first text message to First Lady Kim gun hee He struck up a conversation citing current affairs and then continued talks with Kim about domestic politics and religion. The two talk about Pastor Chan gwang hoon who was leading conservative rallies in support of the former Park Geun-hye administration, as well as then-presidential candidate An Cho Su. Choi's advice to the First Lady continues even after Yoon song yeol is elected president. He even advises her about keeping up a First Lady-like image. Choi also expresses strong opposition to relocating the presidential office to Yongsan. Their conversation gradually slows down after Yoon's inauguration. Last July, heated remarks are exchanged over the Yangpyeong Expressway scandal involving allegations the project was to benefit Kim's family. When Kim did not respond to Choi's message requesting resumed transmission of an exclusive TV channel on unification affairs, Choi left the chat on November 26 last year. This is just one day before the hidden camera footage of the First Lady's luxury bag scandal was disclosed online. Over 22 months, Choi sent 995 messages to Kim and Kim sent him 841 messages. Of this total, the pastor omitted some 400 messages relating to gifts and requests he made when submitting the record to the prosecution. Prosecutors believe he intentionally left out those parts that gave him a bad look. Pastor Che claims that the omitted messages were private and that he did not know how to save the entire conversation.